Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Today is Thankful Thursday, but also it's Throwback Thursday. So I'm going to be sharing with you a special memory from the past. But before we do all of that, let's please join fifth grader and birthday boy, Jack Poole de Salvo, in our Knox on Pledge. Today is a new day. I will act in a safe and helpful way. I will respect and encourage others. I will be responsible for my learning and accountable for my choices. Today, I will be the most outstanding me I can be. I am an Oxon hero. Thank you so much to Jack, and as I said, happy birthday, Jack. I hope you have a fantastic day on your birthday. It is also the birthday today of Adrian Lynn from Mrs. McMorris's kindergarten class, and also today is the birthday of Mr. Aaron Hilton in Team Smurphy. Aaron, Adrian, and Jack, we hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful birthday today, and we'll be thinking of you for sure. As I said today, um, it's Thursday, so typically we do Thankful Thursday, and I am combining our Thankful Thursday with also Throwback Thursday to share a memory um, from the past that features many, many, many of our students. So you're probably going to see yourself on this little video that I'm going to share. Um, because Jack was leading us in the Knox on Pledge this morning, I couldn't help but think about Jack and um, a role he played in our school last year as assistant director of our tribute to Martin Luther King. Many of our students in first and second grade were part of that tribute, um, and it frankly couldn't have happened without all of the work of Jack and of one of our other students who has now moved on to the middle school, um, Kaden Anderson, our other assistant director. So let's take a moment on this Throwback Thursday and let's watch what our amazing students took part in last year.
आप देखें आप आपका सपना हमारा सपना बन गया है और आपका और सपना है इस जगह के लिए जो हम मिलके पूरे करेंगे don't only get to learn how to speak on a microphone and learn how to speak in front of a humongous crowd, but they get to learn about what Dr. Martin Luther King actually did for us and how much they have learned from this and just... Oh, people sometimes are shy in the beginning, but then when they get used to other kids and people, they get used to talking to them maybe in different languages, maybe in English. And at the end, sometimes, like right now, how we're learning, it's, they're getting used to it. Like, they're getting used to the crowd, and they're getting used to saying what they're supposed to be saying. The kids are learning about speaking and performing, while also learning about the values of Dr. Martin Luther King. And I've seen the kids come a long way at first. They didn't know what their lines were, but now they're great. Um, I think everybody coming together and everybody being having their own personalities and just being totally different people, I think them all coming together shows a lot, and it does symbolize, symbolize Martin Luther King and what he did. He wanted everybody who was different to come together and just make one big group, and who, no matter like what language they speak, what color their skin color is they're all the same in the inside and I think that symbolizes a lot like we have people dancing we have people speaking different languages and I think them all coming together just makes an amazing play all together and I'm one of the foreign language students I'm Caden Anderson I'm an assistant director I'm Jack Pumasalo I'm an assistant director we'll see you there So that was just a little bit, um, a little bit of history for Throwback and Thankful Thursday. The reason why I wanted to use this for both, first of all, is because Jack reminded me of this. Every time I think of Jack, I think about his, um, his work during that play. I also think about how thankful I am to be part of Arlington School District and all of the opportunities that we're able to provide here for our students. Just like our students shared, our assistant directors and our foreign language student helping to lead the play shared when you get to be part of, of things like residencies and um, our special areas, art, music, performance, you build so much inside yourself that couldn't have been done otherwise. Confidence, the ability to speak in front of a crowd, learning to be proud of who you are and what you bring to the table to share with others. Um, using history and what we've learned about history to change our world today. We're able to do that through all of the wonderful opportunities that Arlington provides us. And I'm very thankful for that. So I hope you are too. I want you to remember the budget vote is coming up on June 6th. The budget voting process will be very different this year as a result of everything that's going on um, right now in our world. So it's more important than ever for our families um, to really showcase how thankful they are to be part of our district and all of the wonderful opportunities that are afforded to the students within our district. So June 6th is the budget vote. Throwback Thursday. Thank you to Jack. Thank you to all of our students who took part in our Martin Luther King play last year. I am thankful for you. Okay. Um, tomorrow is Field Trip Friday. And um, for Field Trip Friday tomorrow, we will be going into the living room of some of our students. And we will be engaging in a concert right there in their living rooms. Um, that concert also really showcases 
um, the love of music and learn and learning about music that happened for these children based on their experience as an Arlington student. So again, our music program, another wonderful, wonderful thing to be grateful for. So tomorrow, Field Trip Friday, we're going into the living room of some of our students. So get ready, get ready. Make sure you take your shoes off before you go into their living room. We'll have to do that. But last but not least, Speedy. Now, Speedy uh, was at a PTA meeting last night, a virtual PTA meeting, so he was not out on the town, but I did hear this sound outside of my door this morning, this vroom, vroom sound. You're not going to believe what I saw when I looked out my door. I had to take a picture. So I do believe that Speedy is out on the town right now, and tomorrow morning during our morning announcements, we should be able to feature the house or houses where Speedy went. But this is what I saw when I looked out my door this morning, which is interesting because Speedy apparently took matters into his own hands, hopped on his BMW motorcycle, and is out on the town. He wasn't waiting for me to be his chauffeur today. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you. Speedy's out there, so beware. And I hope you all have a wonderful and thankful Thursday. Um, get started on those Google Classrooms. One more reminder, <clears throat> tonight is Family Bingo Night. Um, RSVP now. I am going to be generating those cards within the next hour, um, hour and a half, and I am going to be sending those cards out. So families who have already RSVP'd or who RSVP before I'm done making the cards, um, you will be receiving two emails. One will come from a school message. That school message will be from me, giving the details about our family bingo night. The other email will be um, from the bingo card generator site that I'm using, and that will be your bingo cards for your family for tonight. Six o'clock, Google Meets, information for the link will be in... Um, the school message. I do not believe that we will need to use Facebook Live. I think we can do it all through Google Meets this time. Again, that information will come in an email within the next couple of hours from me. I'll see y'all tonight. Get started on those Google Classrooms and let's have a great day, everyone. Thanks.